Hi everyone, I have a super fun pasta recipe for you tonight, and I think you can consider this pantry pasta number four. Because <laughs> I was cleaning out my refrigerator and I found a lot of vegetables that I've bought that kind of need to be used or they're not going to be of any use to anyone. So I'll show you in a second what I have. We're going to roast them in the oven and we're going to toss them in some pasta with a really fun marinade slash vinaigrette lemony dressing. And I think it's going to be so delicious and I'm so excited to eat it. <laughs> so here we go. As you can see, these vegetables need to be used. They've been in the refrigerator for a while. I have a little eggplant here, a yellow squash, a zucchini or courgette, red pepper, a yellow pepper, some shallots, some scallions or spring onions, and some mushrooms. We chopped all the vegetables except for the mushrooms and we put them in this giant mixing bowl. I have three cloves of garlic that I've minced. I'm adding a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to toss this all together and then we're going to roast it in an oven at 475 degrees. So just give it a good toss. under the sheet pan it goes. Wow, look at all those colors. Get some of this garlic out. I'll spread this all out on a single layer. And we're going to roast these probably for about 25 minutes to a half hour. So everything gets nice and brown. So while we have it on a high heat, we're going to try to get them to actually char a little bit. So into the oven they go. For the dressing slash marinade that we're making here, I have a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil in this mason jar. I also have a third of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I have two cloves of garlic minced. And in here, I have a half a teaspoon of salt, pepper, parsley, thyme, oregano, and basil. They're all dried. I'm going to put that all in. And my favorite part, I have an entire teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So I'm going to put the lid on this mason jar and give it a good shake. We're halfway through the roasting time, so we're gonna toss these vegetables and then put them back in. But I would say they're coming along very nicely. It's been 25 minutes. I think these vegetables can use about another five, so now it's a great time to add the mushrooms. I didn't wanna put the mushrooms in at the beginning because I think they would've just shriveled up. So we're adding our mushrooms and this is going back in the oven for another five. I've transferred our roasted vegetables back to the mixing bowl. I'm going to Pour on half of the marinade. I'm gonna give this a little toss. Oh my God, this smells so good. <laughs> and we're gonna let these marinate for about a half hour. In the meantime, we're gonna put on a big pot of water to boil for the pasta, and we're gonna use a curly shape like rotini. We're also going to add a quarter cup of chopped parsley and two chopped scallions. Pasta is ready. The pasta is done. I'm going to add it to the vegetables. I'm going to pour on the rest of the marinade. I reserved a little bit of the cooking water. And then I'm also going to garnish it with the parsley and the scallion. So here goes the, par the pasta. Put 
pouring on the remainder of the dressing. And just a little bit of the pasta cooking liquid. Now we're gonna give this all a toss. Look at all those beautiful colors. We're gonna serve this up and add a little Pecorino Romano cheese. that was so good <laughs> I really hope you try it and with all of the different colors of vegetables that meal was just packed with nutrition now a long time ago when I was first investigating nutrition and the Mediterranean diet my doctor told me to eat a lot of vegetables and I kept saying oh I'm Italian I love pasta what am I gonna do and he said you can eat pasta it's perfectly okay just fill your plate with mostly vegetables and I think this pasta dish was exactly what the doctor ordered maybe I should send him some <laughs> I hope you try it for yourself because it was really super good. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time with another delicious Mediterranean diet inspired recipe. Bye.